like it or not, the spotlight is on the disruptive technology that is Bitcoin. If the players aren't squeaky clean, they're going to be flushed out and hung, drawn and courted for all to see. Here we have Charlie Schramm. Charlie Schramm is an investor in Ever and the co-founder of Exchange Bid Instant. He admits the currency has a reputation to overcome. In the beginning, Bitcoin was, I would say, over 80% value was for all illicit activities. It's still road, drugs, things like that, fake IDs. I spend thousands of dollars on lawyers every day just to make sure that I'm not going to go to jail. Not as intensely aware as you are, but what it means to take a risk. It's a completely different world from wages and salaries, isn't it? We were, we were a little, definitely is. We're a little naive, though, I guess, because what do we have to lose? Nothing. What did I lose? You know, I'm, I'm under house arrest right now. I lost my freedom for now. So I lost that. I lost, so far, the foundation that I had, they had started, resigned, and I'm probably going to be resigning from, from BitInstant as well. Sorry. Within the Bitcoin ecosystem, we also have Mt. Gox CEO, Mark Kapalis, who is doing his clients no favors at all with bad communication and more. There are possible lawsuits taking place right now against Mt. Gox and Mark Kapalis. Both Mark Kapalis and Charlie Schramm have been or are currently part of the Bitcoin Foundation. Whether there is any merit to this foundation at all is another question in itself. Even my mother, who knows stuff all about Bitcoins, is aware of the Shrem arrest and the connection of money laundering to do with Bitcoins. It's alleged anyway, but just the same, it's just bad press. Bad press. Bad, bad press.